So the Poco X2 is here and there's a very good chance that a lot of you guys would be interested in buying that. Now if you've bought one or are looking to buy one, here is a list of 10 best apps that you should definitely install on your Poco X2 for, well, to make the most of that device. This is Varun from Guiding Tech and let's get started. Okay, so right off the bat, the first app that I want to recommend is Pictures. Now, I'm sure that you guys would be clicking a lot of photos on your new 64 MP phone, and this might just be the best gallery app out there. It offers a clean material UI to browse through albums while also offering some pretty interesting features. The photo editor works great, and it even allows you to change the image size and remove the location of it while sharing. Honestly, it's one of the most power packed gallery apps out there. That said, if you're looking for something a little different, we also have another video talking about the seven best gallery apps for your Android device. So make sure to check that out. Also, one more thing that I want to highlight here is that, so the Poco actually clicks images in a lot higher size as compared to other 64 MP cameras, which you can see in our camera comparison video as well. So basically, I suggest you guys actually turn on the backup mode on Google Photos to conserve some space on your device or just buy a, well, a cloud subscription. Personally, I use Google One and I upload all the high quality images to Google Drive, but I'll let you guys decide whatever cloud solution works best for you. Okay, so you've clicked all the images out there, but where do you edit them? Well, Snapseed is one option, but let's be realistic. It's a little too complex for a lot of you guys. In that aspect, my go-to recommendation is Pixlr. The app offers a neat and simple interface, allowing you to easily edit and fine-tune images. It also supports raw images, so you can edit them as well. Lastly, if you want to edit images for your social media and all, you can use Pixlr to doodle or add text as well. Speaking of social media, are you guys following us on Instagram yet? No? What are you doing with your lives? Go and follow us from the link in the description below. Okay, now there's a chance that you're not into photography, but more into videography. And you obviously need a good video editor for all the photos and videos that you've captured. And for that, this quick. Although the company makes it for GoPro, you can use it for any video footage. It offers tons of customization and editing options, including multiple transitions, overlays, and graphics. Oh, and it's super intuitive, so you don't have to keep fiddling around in menus to unleash your creativity. Best part, it's completely free. Now, if you're someone who wants to customize their device, a launcher is probably the best places to start with. Yes, the Poco launcher isn't bad. I mean, it's way better than the standard MIUI launcher. But if you're looking for something a little more functional and more customizable, might I recommend Hyperion Launcher. You get endless customizability options, support for third-party icon packs, extra extensions, gestures, app lock, and so much more. It brings out most of the essential features of my favorite Nova launcher all for free. Yes, there's a paid version of it as well, but honestly speaking, you wouldn't need it since the base app is self-sufficient. Okay, so what's the best companion app for a good launcher? A good wallpaper app, I mean, that's so obvious. And for that, I think I have to recommend Heidi Hole for you, which makes the perfect use of that hole punch at top. The app features wallpapers that creatively hide the hole punch in the top right corner. It allows you to choose from a wide array of options while also fine tuning them. One thing to note, however, is that the app was designed for the S10 series, so the notch might look a little out of place in some cases. Speaking of which, I do have a solution for that, for which I would suggest you guys to get subscribed to our channel and get notified as well. Moving on with the list now. Okay, now here's another app that might be essential for a lot of Poco users out there. So the company claims that Poco X2 comes with zero ads, uh, which is kind of true, except that you still get ads inside the Mi browser, Mi video, and basically everything that has me written on. So what's the solution here? Well, block adder. Now this app single-handedly blocks out all ads on your device without even having to root your phone. It works great and honestly is the first app that I install on any Xiaomi device I use. Now since I did mention the stock browser, here's another app that I want you guys to take a look at. It's called Edge and it's from the house of Microsoft. Now I know a lot of you guys are already skeptical about it, but if you just look past its reputation and take a look at the browser itself, trust me, you'll be impressed. Edge offers a super clean UI with nice animations and is also quite responsive. Pages load fast and you can even sync it to the Edge browser on your PC for direct sync. We all know how much memory Chrome hogs up and if you're looking for an alternative that gives you sync features as well, Edge is what I would truly recommend. 
Okay, so one of the interesting things that the POCO X2 packs in is MeShare that allows you to share your files, data, images, whatever with people nearby you that also support a share format like that. But what if you want to send files to someone who's, well, not near you? Well, for that, we have Envelope. So Envelope is a simple app that lets you upload your files and share it with anyone you want to. It generates a download link that you can give to the other person using which they can access that file. It works seamlessly and the whole platform is super secure. Oh, and there are no file limits either. Now, while we're on the topic of sharing files, I'm sure a lot of you guys would be sharing a lot of official documents or office work with your colleagues and, I don't know, relatives maybe. Well, what app do you use to edit those files? Personally, I just go with Microsoft Office. Beta. It's a full-fledged single app that brings Excel, Word, and PowerPoint to your phone. You can edit them in full flow, just like you would do on your PC. Now, despite being in beta, the app works well. I've been using it for a long time now, and I love it, and I'm sure you would too. Now, the last app here is a good keyboard. Now, the Poco X2 does come pre-installed with Gboard, which is great, but a lot of you guys have been complaining about the text correction there, which is why my go-to recommendation for an alternative keyboard is definitely SwiftKey. Apart from the great text correction, it offers some amazing customization options, which include changing the size of the keyboard, adjusting the layout, and using a bunch of different themes. Heck, you can even create some with your own photos in the background. Now, I won't blame you if you like Gboard, but if you want an alternative, SwiftKey is definitely my pick. And with that, we come to an end of this video. Now, as always, you can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about in the description box below. Also, if there's any other app that you would like to know about or would like to recommend to us, make sure to sound off in the comments below. This is Varun from Guiding Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.